Hey guys, welcome back to Kenny Beauty. So today we are going to be testing out and swatching all of the new Makeup by Mario lipsticks. I really love his lip liners. I like a lot of his products. Actually, I don't think I've come across one Makeup by Mario product that I haven't loved. Um, but I've been kind of like late to the game on these. So I love a good creamy satin lipstick and I believe that's what these are supposed to be. So anyway, I can't wait to dive right in. I did, I do have every single shade. Um, but I only have a few of the matte ones, uh, but they look very similar to the mattes, except for they're supposed to be a different formula. So anyways, hopefully this will be helpful for future sales or whatever, um, or just trying to decide what shade you guys, you know, want to pick up. And I also do want to like take a look at the formula and I'm fingers crossed hoping it'll be amazing. So anyway, if you're new here, thank you so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, tap that bell so you can be notified of all the new upcoming videos. And let's get right into these new lipsticks by Makeup by Mario. Okay, so these do retail for $28. Um, there are around, I think, 17, 15, 18 shades, it looks like. And they're all like categorized between like nudes, pinks, peaches, oranges, berries, reds. And the packaging is very, very similar to the matte lipsticks he already came out with. Um, I'm not sure if they're completely matte, but they're definitely like a matter formula and they're white. Um, they're they're just like this, but they're white and they're they're magnetized, but like same exact packaging except for the, the other ones are matte and these new satin ones are black. And it is called the Super Satin Lipstick. Again, they retail for $28. It says a classic clean, ugh. It says a classic creamy satin lipstick with a soft sheen. This unique formula glides on with ultra comfort and grips lips in wearable shades created by Mario. Swipe on silky satin lipstick reimagined by Mario and inspired by his hometown, New York City. A single swipe delivers creamy, ultra comfortable, color perfect for luxurious daily wear. Okay, so 18 shades, and they're all like named after the boroughs of New York, like all the places in and around New York. So that's kind of cool. And I believe according to TikTok, <laughs> which who knows if this is true, but like one of the shades, I think it's Bronx Baby is his is named after where he was born or his favorite shade, something like that. So anyway, let's get right into it because we have a lot of lips, a lot of lipsticks to swatch. Okay, starting out with mid toe midtown which is supposed to be a light neutral pink oh this is right up my alley it does smell a just a taint sweet and it definitely has that like mac honestly this is giving me mac mac lipstick vibes i'm loving this formula super creamy this reminds me of like almost like a cream de nude shade from mac yeah all right so that is Midtown, that is gorgeous. Oh, this is, it, honestly, like I almost had the same exact shade on, but that was not this lipstick that was actually an LA Colors lipstick that I had on. So, very creamy. Okay, next we have the flat iron shade, and this is supposed to be a warm beige. A very very creamy you know what this also reminds me of is the Too Faced Lady Bold formula this might be a little bit more like luminous looking though than that one. Ooh, I like this flat iron shade too okay so this is flat iron I just got it all over and just be careful because they are so buttery and creamy that like it's gonna be one of those lipsticks for me that like kind of probably ends up tilting I don't know if anybody else has that problem if I'm the only one that like goes in ham with my lipsticks but it's not the lipstick it's me like it happens with every single lipstick that I get so anyway this is the shade flat iron again midtown flat iron so flat irons definitely more of like a warm beige and here it is again but we got to get moving because there's a lot to go through <laughs> okay next we have this shade south shore which is a cool nude pink oh 
They're so creamy. There definitely is like a subtle sheen though. Uh, I just like keep wanting to apply them and apply them and apply them. They're so good. Okay, so this is South Shore. It's a little warmer to me, like it's not so, so cool. But it could just be like my coloring, you know what I mean? Maybe on a different skin tone, it would be here like more of a cooler pinky nude. Okay, next we have Bronx Baby, which is a soft, warm rose shade. Ooh, this is pretty too. So I was kind of like debating on whether to get the skin by Kim and blow my wad on that purchase and review that for you guys or get all of these. And I have to say, I'm glad that I decided to do these instead. But I definitely, definitely suggest picking up a shade or two. The next sale he has, or if there's like a Sephora sale. Mm, these are so good. All right, so this is Bronx Baby, and I understand why this is his favorite shade. It is gorgeous. Okay, and there is Bronx Baby. Lots of nudes. Love it. Love it. Okay, next we have the shade 917, which I believe is supposed to be a mid-tone warm rose. So kind of deeper than the Bronx Baby. And these also have really good staying power. It's been really hard for me to get these off of my lips in between. Oh my gosh, this is so beautiful. Mm, all right. So this is 917, and then there is a swatch of 917. Okay, next we have Nolita, which is a mid-tone warm pink. Okay, so for me, this is definitely like not, I don't consider this a pink shade. I mean, it's gorgeous. Okay, so Nolita. Oh, I guess I guess it is a little bit pink. It's kind of rosish. Yeah. Okay. Okay, next we have the shade Dumbo, which is a spiced rose. It's Dumbo. They're so creamy. All right, so this is Dumbo. All the way over here. All right, next we have Soho, which is a spiced coral shade. Oh, this is pretty, especially for like Oh my god, I love this shade for spring or summertime. Oh my gosh. Oh, this is so pretty. Ah, I love this. Okay, Soho. Gotta get through this, Kenny. Gotta get through this. Um, and I'm running out of room to do swatches. So that's Soho. Oh, I love this shade. Next we have Uptown Girl, which is a rusty orange red. Okay, 
Okay, so this is Uptown Girl. Next up we have Broadway, which is a cool, bright pink. Oh my gosh, this is gorgeous too. Okay, so Broadway. Okay, next we have West Village, which is supposed to be a rich magenta. Oh my goodness, it just gets better and better. Look at how. Yeah, Rich is definitely. They're so creamy. Like in kind of almost air proof. Like you don't even need a liner. All right, so this is West Village. I mean, I kind of goofed up a little, but. Beautiful. Okay, so that's West Village. West Village. I'm trying to get that little jaggedy thing. That's all right. Just going to take it off anyways. Okay, next up we have the shade Chelsea, which is supposed to be a red orange this is gonna be really bold oh my goodness oh my goodness So my foundation is coming up, but is this not gorgeous? This is freaking gorgeous. This is Chelsea. I love it. These are like a mate. He is a genius. He's a genius. He's one of the best red oranges I've experienced. Like this is gorgeous. Chelsea. Next, we have the shade Harlem, which is a warm brick red. This is Harlem. Harlem right there at the end of the second row. And next, we have the shade Tribeca, which is an intense blue red. All right, so this is Tribeca. Love this formula. It does not gather. Also, I'm noticing as I'm going through all of the shades, it does not gather in the rims and the insides of the lips. There's no rim. It doesn't like gunk up in the corners. It's a really, really nice, high quality formula. Again, this is Tribeca. Okay, that's right there at the end. Next, we have the shade Rockefeller, which is a rich brick red. Rockefeller. Rockefeller right there at the end. Quite the like arrangement of different reds. Next up we have Central Park, which is supposed to be like a raisin brown. Oh, 
Oh my gosh, this is gorgeous. Again, this is Central Park. Freaking gorgeous. Some of them are a little bit, like a little bit slippier than, like I feel like some of them are a little bit more shinier. They're all shiny, but there are some that have a tinch, like a pinch more shine. I feel like, like this, this one is really shiny. Next we have the shade Forest Hills, which is a rich wine. Oh, this is gorgeous too. That is Forest Hills right there. Mm. Okay, and then last but not least, we have the shade Downtown Girl, which is an intense plum brown shade. Oh my God. Okay. Again, this is Downtown Girl. It is so rich and so beautiful. And there we go. All 18 shades. All right, you guys, if you haven't already guessed, I am absolutely blown away by this formula. It is a beautiful, it's like Huda, Tom Ford, Lisa Eldridge, they all had to be like so creamy, so buttery, better than MAC, better than anything I've tried. Like this is an amazing formula. If you can only afford one lip product this year, get this. There's so many beautiful shades. They don't like, they don't like really transfer either. They stay put. They're creamy, they're buttery, they're hydrating. I swatched like almost 20 shades and my lips aren't even like raw. I am blown away by this formula. Blown away. These are a must. A must. I guarantee you will not regret it if you pick one of these up. So I'm just beside myself because I can't believe how good these are. How many shades. The shades were so spot on. Nothing was patchy. It just gorgeous. Glided right onto the lips. So, so pretty. So beautiful. You guys have to grab one of these. Like, they are to die for. Anyways, and they're only $28. Like, anyways, if you haven't already, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Tap that bell. Thank you guys all so much for hanging out with me while we swatched all of these. I hope this video was helpful. Comment down below what was your favorite shade. Are you thinking about picking some of these up? Just spill it down below. I am in awe. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye-bye.